Hey everybody, here with a review on this RSI bar pad phone holder for your snowmobile. Um, I've been looking for, oh, here comes the cat. I've been looking for an option to uh, hold my phone. Um, there's a there's a bunch of ways that you can do it. You can buy GPS units from like NS1 or you can get some stuff off Amazon or whatnot to hold your phone. Um, there's some for motorcycles as well. The problem with any um, setup, if you've ran them before, is phones do not like getting cold. I ran a setup behind my windshield last year, and uh, leaving the phone plugged in and charging worked. But if uh, you unplugged it or you turned the sled off and it wasn't charging, the phone would turn off pretty quickly, and then it would take quite a while to get warm back up from being charged. So the benefit of this is it's got some insulation inside of there, which I'll open it up and show you. And then supposedly it's, it's uh, according to RSI, supposed to come with a heater, even if you have the generic one. Um, Polaris and Skidoo have ones that are a little bit more specific. I have an Articat, and uh, when I contacted RSI, they had told me this comes with a heater. Uh, I didn't purchase it directly through them. I purchased it on Amazon, but here's the packaging. I can't imagine it's any different. I'll open it up and show you what's inside here. It's just Velcro, as you can see here. Got uh, Velcro on that side, and then Velcro all along the, uh, the edge there. And uh, you pull that out. There's the. You see, it's recessed to fit the phone. It comes with some spacers in here that, uh, if you have a smaller phone, you can adjust it so the phone doesn't slide around too much. And then uh, it mounts, you know, just like that. Pretty, pretty simple setup. Pretty slick um, with the heater in there. I think it would be really nice because then you know your phone's never going to get to that cold temperature zone. Um, I'm just curious on where you would even route it in. I just don't see a spot. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what their heater part number is. I'll probably have to talk to their support and see what I can find out. Um, yeah, there's some part numbers down there that you can see. So I'm not sure why there's two of them there. Um, and the reason I'm making this video is because I just couldn't find too much information out there on this product. Uh, there's there's no videos that I've seen. There's only two images. It doesn't show really how to get the phone in and out of here. I thought that maybe it had originally slid in from the side. So I figured I'd purchase it myself and just see how it works and make a video for anybody else who's interested in it. Um, yeah, it, it seems like it's a pretty decent product. So... Um, I'll have to give it a try and, and see, but if that if that fits the bill for you, uh, it might be complicated if you got the mountain grab bar, you know, over the top center. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's pretty slick.